Doshin Geeks, Doshin Geeks Productions. from Doja B Exotics. Just wanted to take a little bit of time. Actually, it's pretty nice today, so I think I'm gonna work on my larger snake cook. I'm gonna take it outside. Still got some tape on it right here from where I marked it to cut it. So, and it's a little bit of a rough edge here. So I'm gonna take that outside and, and put it on my grinding wheel, grind it down a little bit so it could be smooth. And uh, I'm gonna put a taper on this end here. And then cut my golf club handle and um, fit it in and let it cure with um, what I'm using to bond it bond this piece to my golf club handle is a uh, gorilla glue so last time when I made my other snake hook it was pretty cold and my glue was kind of cold today is warmer so hopefully we'll get it to flow better but yeah I'm gonna start by working on this get my grinding done and all of that I'm gonna cut the handle and uh, cut the handle and get this all glued together and let it set up and cure all right catch in a little bit peace YouTube so I'm back now I got this all ground down so it's tapered at the end For some reason I'm focusing and then I actually went and um, cleaned up this edge as well. Let me try to clean my lens. So, clean that up a little bit. This is the golf club that I'm going to use here. And I'm going to cut it. There's like little increments where it gets bigger. So this is the first increment where goes to a larger diameter then it goes up a little bit it's a little bit larger so if I remember correctly I had to cut the other one about right here the second diameter so that this can fit in here pretty snugly and what I'm going to use for that is my um, rotary tool with a cutoff wheel so I'm going to put this wheel on there off right there before I cut. I'm gonna put these on to protect my eyeballs and I'll go I'll cut to that in a moment. Alright peace. What up what up YouTube so now we're outside got my variable speed motor tool I'll turn it up high RPM From there, I'm gonna go take and grind this off to make a flat surface. All right. I have to show you is um, a quick test fit. So here we go, and we see it fits in pretty good. So now I'm going to go get my. Uh, I'm going to go flatten this off here, and then I'll probably uh, crimp this down to just to make it a tight fit once I get it all fit fitted together. All right. A bit of grinding, kind of hold the camera for the phone with one hand and and there we go. Oh, Better than it was. Not too 
too bad. I just do a little bit more. And I am using one hand to do this, so. It's not gonna be the best job, but it will get the function done. So that's good enough for me. Cut off the binder. And then we'll go to the next step. So here's the next set, here's the next part. So basically you see that uh, my dry fit it fits together really well. It's a little bit of play. So I might get my pliers and crimp it down. I actually have a crimping tool in my car, but so now I'm gonna get some uh, cardboard just to protect my work surface. There's a laminate side just in case this does expand and uh, get on the cardboard, it'll be easier to get off. So what I'm gonna do next is take my Gorilla Glue and I'm going to put a, as much of this as I can down in the tube. I could have, um, it's pretty warm in the room here, it's 75 degrees over there. In between 73 and 75 degrees right now. So I'm squeezing a fair amount down in the tube. And if anyone has ever used this before, you know that this stuff um, expands when it cures. So it should make a really tight fit. If not, I will take this out to the drill press and drill a hole in the side going through this material and this material and then add a set screw so basically here I'm going to go all the way down to the bend I'm trying to get in the threads so once it cures we have a good bond. already starting to set up a little bit like I said it's pretty warm in this room and this stuff works better when it's uh, in a warm environment so we will let that set up and we'll I'll show you the finished product at big cures 24 hours I'll snake hooks and I'll show you the process I'm going to to create these. But I guess we'll just go to the quick segment of the carpet python. Yeah, to excuse the mess, everything. A lot of boxes and stuff that we're packing up. But she's down in her hide down there. Her little spot. She has a heating pad under here. And she has her light as well. So I'm gonna get some of the stuff out of her cage and I'll uh, show you the how the snake hook forms. Maybe I'll come back here a little bit.
Doja B from Doja B Exotics come back at you. Right now I'm doing another little upgrade. What I'm doing is um, I'm adding that light fixture. I'm gonna mount it right up top in there and uh, use this cage right here to protect the light or to protect the snake from the light. And I'm gonna use this light bulb here. I just put it in that garbage can so I didn't knock it over and break it. But um, basically what I did was I just got one of your standard little cheapy uh, extension cords cut the ends off there I had this light fixture I was gonna use it for something and then I uh, wired it I'm gonna tighten those down a little better tested it already and then uh, from there I'm going to I drill a hole so my wire comes up there there's another fluorescent light which is not needed but it's there. It was there when um, you got this enclosure and got the, the jungle carpet like that. So I, I ran uh, the wire there. Got my staple gun over there. Some staples so I can staple the wires to kind of hide them once I install the light right here. You can see right there. But um, that's the plan. And there she goes. She's over there. Then I'm also going to Possibly um, cover part of the wire partially, still allowing a lot of airflow, but to help keep the heat in a little bit more efficiently. That way, 
she'll be happy. I just want to share that with you guys. I'll let you know. Well, I'll check in and add another little segment after I have everything mounted. All right, peace. Got the fixture mounted. Could have did a little bit of better job, but I had a hard time. It's not much space in there. It's pretty it's wide, but my shoulders are a lot wider than that, and I couldn't really get in there. And then here, here's the wires staple down to secure them. I'm gonna put the light bulb in next and then put the cage in. Gotta go get some more screws from the shop and a couple of washers. The light cage dry fitted in. And what I'm gonna do is I have some scrap wire. I'm gonna make a skirt that goes from the ceiling that goes around around the, the box so that the snake can't wedge itself in there and uh, sit on top of the light and burn itself. So I'm gonna go get the, every everything I need to secure it and um, the scrap pieces, and I'm gonna secure those by staples. I'm gonna bend them, form it into shape and then have it going completely around the whole perimeter of the light box and um, going coming down on the sides and going up to the ceiling to prevent the snake from wedging up there and harming itself. All right, that'll be the next step. I got the light installed. I rerouted the wire so it's not looking so ugly. I think I'm gonna add a little extension to the pull chain that will allow it to hang through the cage once I um, attach the cage. That way if I forget to turn it on or change the bulb and turn it off up here inside the cage, that um, I'll have access to it without having to take the whole cage off and uh, pull the thing or stick pliers through it. Just make it easier just in case. All right That's that step and I'll show you the finished product in a moment Well, here we go finished product We're right now got the Skirt all the way around the top. So there is no way that she can get up there and harm herself uh, I tied the skirt to the actual cage with um wire That way it's all here and she was over in the corner down there the whole time while I was working over here just watching me and now I guess she's checking out and I bet she can feel the heat and the only thing I might do beyond that point is actually um, cover part of that door or not cover the door but that whole opening is green so I'm figuring two-thirds of the way from the top down I'll cover it and then maybe um, the top half of that side cover it that way the airflow will be in the middle and um, which will overall keep it a lot warmer in there right now it's not that warm in there at all so yeah hopefully that'll help her out what up what up YouTube it's your boy Doja B from Doja B Exotics so right now it's the next day after I uh, Secured the hook to the to the shaft with um, the Gorilla Glue. I did rotate it once last night. It was originally right here, and I seen it, the foam had expanded, and uh, I didn't want it to get too stuck, so I rotated it. It comes off pretty easy. That's why I used the laminated side of this box here. I'm just gonna get my trusty dusty uh, utility knife and just. Try to this stuff sets up really good. Trim the excess off. I almost did something that I know better than doing. I almost cut towards myself. It's a good way to cut yourself. Never cut towards yourself. But right now I'm just cleaning up the excess. It's been about, uh, say, 20, um, about 20, 20, 20 hours to 21 hours. Not quite 24, but it's pretty warm. And as you can see, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still a little wet inside. But yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. Let it set up a little bit more. Then if not, I can always add the set screw, but for the most part, I think we're good. Yeah, it's 
pretty good. I'm happy with it. so it doesn't look so unfinished. I'll probably clean this with some rubbing alcohol later to get all the dirt and extra glue and stuff off. A little bit there. Trauma shares. these productions. Those should be those should be productions. And we will let this finish curing. Now I can sit it on the floor right across from my heater. I'm sorry if you hear the heater going in the background. That's it. Here's the. I think I want to make a couple of more short ones. Maybe a short one with a small hook. But that's the second one I made. And then here's the first one I made. And that'll be it for right now as far as to do it yourself snake hooks. Alright. Hope you guys liked it. If you liked, like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you next time. Doja be out. Peace. So I just got home a little bit ago and checking on the snakes noticed that this girl shit she does have paper towel and she made a mess of her enclosure so I'm gonna get her enclosure cleaned up and check her out this is my black pastel spider yellow belly and uh yeah that's pretty good she didn't eat the other day but I guess she didn't eat because she was in pre-shed which makes sense check her out yeah okay she doesn't have any shed stuck I just want to make sure a little flicker of the tongue to say hi yeah this me getting ready to jump on the game on that battlefield I'll be on that on the uh, Xbox got all that stuff there but yeah that's just the game in the background should have turned off my TV before I started recording, but anywho, clean up her poops and give her some fresh water, sanitize her tub, and I will catch you guys later. I'll add this to some other um, shed updates that I had found on my phone, but never did upload. Alright guys, catch you later. Doja B Exotics out. Peace. Update, I was checking in on squad and notice that I believe this girl shed this is a super pastel champagne lesser and as you can see got a fresh not well, a little bit a little bit dry but fresh shed and this girl is growing nicely nice and chunky Chunky girl. Yep. She shy. I love her eyes. Super dark and black. But yeah, she's a beautiful little girl. Super pastel champagne lesser. I'm going to breed her with my super lesser to get some bells. 
go, but that's all my daughter. But yeah. I bought her specifically for him. I've seen her, like, yeah, he's gotta have her. Yeah, she's going nicely. Alright, hope you guys like that. I think I packed it away, but I want Amina to look at her under a black light. See if I see any pattern on her. Spray her down too. Okay, I was going through cleaning and seeing that uh, my suspected female. I gotta get a better sex now. Pinstripe. She shed. This is the second shed I found today. Gotta clean her tub. It's, yeah, it's a little bit outrageous, but here's her shed here. Let's check her out. All of her eyes. Her eyes are gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's bright. Those eyes. Reminds me of the, the spider. The spiders, their eyes are pretty green like that. She's all bright. She's getting big. Hope it's a girl or it's a boy. Doesn't matter. Either or. Yeah. If that's not a Kodak moment, I don't know what it is. That's it right there. That's what it's all about. Productions. Yeah, ever since I've been switched over to paper, I'm pretty, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot, and I added the second heat element. Some of them uh, rearranged their dwellings a little bit. But um, overall, it seems to be working out pretty good. I like it because uh, when I clean it, I know that, and I disinfect after I clean, I know that their enclosure is like 100% clean, you know? And that gives me the peace of mind. I like it a lot. It's working out well, but where I'm moving to, shortly, it's been really hot it's in the desert, so probably gonna go back to the the cocoa fiber or the repti chip and uh, for the humidity humidity purposes or I might just get a a big humidifier or like you know not a small one but like a one for a room to humidify the humidify the room to keep my humidity up but yeah overall everything's working out pretty good and I actually um move the rack out from the wall a little bit so I can slide the tubs back further which allows me to get uh, more heat under the back of the tub as far as creating a heat gradient let's put the extra on the outside here so and on the opposite side how you only see one brown loop every other one the extra brown is on that wall so it's I uh, can't really get to it but yeah, you can't really see back there but all my extra is going up and down on, on that side so I was thinking I originally did that because that's the outside wall to the outside of the house and I wanted a little extra heat over in that area but yeah that's just that little update and uh yeah hope you guys like it all right peace